What's up, my triple love and YouTube friends? Cheers. I'm Todd. We've got Duct Tape Mike over here. Well, we went on a ride this weekend. We were having a lot of fun. We had every muscle sled in the fleet out and riding, and Mike had all of his sleds out, and we were having a blast. We had a couple days of riding. We went on a vintage ride and got to show off the triples to everybody, and buddy Jerry was ripping across the lake on Redemption. Pretty sure it was full throttle, full speed ahead, and it came to a sudden stop. Grab the clutch once, Mike. No good. <laughs> no good. No good. I'm pretty certain it's not burnt down. We pulled all the plugs. This thing's been running richer in hell um, since I put it together because I even up jetted it too. So I don't think it burnt down. It was warm out. I think either it lost a piston skirt, possibly broke a ring, or it's down in the crank. But to me, it sounds like it's pretty low, the clunk clunk. Uh, we already pulled the exhaust off. We drained the antifreeze out of it. Mike and I and all, we're just going to tear into this thing and start yanking cylinders and you guys all get to see what's wrong right when we get to see it. So enjoy the video. We're going to start ripping and tearing here, guys. Have a drink and enjoy. Cheers. Fred and I were, at the time this went down, there was three of us heading across the lake. We had Redemption, my 95 Storm 800, and then Trenton's uh, Norge out on the lake, and all three of us were heading across the lake side by side, giving it every little bit the throttle would allow it to give it. And out of the side of my vision, because Jerry was right next to me, he was keeping right up with the storm. And uh, Trenton was a little bit behind because he got a little bit of a late start because we all kind of, me and Jerry kind of took off and Trenton seen there was a race going on. He wanted to get involved, so he, he got in behind a little late. But uh, out of the corner of my eye, I see Jerry all of a sudden, he falls off. I'm like, what the heck? And I'm going 100. Trenton come by me like I just hit the parking brakes. He swears he's seen over 110. Norge was ripping. I mean, my 800's jetted kind of fat, my storm, and so it was kind of, sputter a little bit on the top end, but if I turn around and go back and see what's going on with Jerry, and he says, I don't know, man. The ripcord feels a little tight on it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we determined it was done for, hooked the rope on, towed it back to the cabin. So that was it for redemption. It was nice, it was only a mile away, it was a mile tow back. It, it was gonna happen sooner or later, and you know, I'd rather have it happen right by the cabin, then 25 miles away from the cabin, so. We were waiting, we were wondering what the hell happened <laughs> to you guys, and all yep. of a sudden, oh no, I yep. saw you go by. <laughs> you know, we went by Mike's cabin with this one on the hook, and uh oh. <laughs> Save the paper gaskets between everything else's O-ring. Mike's like, you know, just take it off as one piece. 
just in case this thing can go back together. You want to pull the domes or you want to leave them on? I think I'll pull the cylinders. I think I'll pull the domes too. I'll get a socket going on them. You want to start on the cylinders? You always get a little sneak peek if you got the domes off. <laughs> Pistons are gone. Good piston wash too, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> I, I was certain it didn't burn down. Good skirts. Three of these tasty things later in about half an hour dealing with the one motor mount bolt we had to shut the camera down there was a lot of effenheimers being thrown out i don't know how i'll deal with it when i go to put the engine back in but uh yeah so the engine's on the table now we're finally i'm gonna rip the, i'll just tear it down so we can get a look at the crank definitely feels like it's down in the crank so we'll just finish tearing this thing down and see what we come up with so what was your story on that one slide you're talking about here mike Another good deal on a greasy triple? A good deal, yeah, well, there's a possibility. I got a buddy that's got one that he just picked up and... I need a 13 also. It uh, needs a little work, but it sounds like he's got all the parts and everything to put it together and he said I could get into it for what he's got into it, so... And that was a... It's an SKS and the seat's longer or something. Obviously. Yeah, it's got the long, it, it's a weird deal. It's got a longer seat. There's no tunnel extension. It's just all oh, tunnel. 12, right. 133. Uh, it's all tunnel and the seat's longer. Where is the deal? He found an OEM seat cover for it. Yeah, so anyway, there's a possibility. 
I might uh, venture into that if I sell the 500. And I've got a guy that's interested, but like everyone else, he threw me the low ball, the same low ball offer everybody else is throwing me. Yep. And I told him it's not what uh, not what I'm looking for, but he isn't. Uh, he hasn't backed out completely yet. There's a possibility he could come up Thursday and he's going to be in the air. He could possibly come up Thursday and check it out, so we'll see. Any of y'all pulling a flywheel off one of these? Save yourself a lot of hassle and put all the bolts in the puller. Don't do it with three. Does it work, Mike, with three? It does not work with three. Nope. You'll get a lot of what we just had off camera. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just using some of the old uh, bolts that came out of the recoil. Out of the uh, recoil housing, they worked the perfect length. I made this polar years ago. Instead of spending the forty-five dollars on a Dennis Kirk special polar, I spent about twenty minutes one morning in my own shop drinking my coffee and made this polar. But five bolts is mandatory. You try three, you'll break them. Put all of them in, and it goes just fine. Oh. It's not even five bolts, it's six. But you gotta have them all in there. You can't do half. Half will not work. <laughs> What's that? It's never gonna get kicked off. Oh, yeah. right. I hope not. <laughs> never mind Mike's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Probably couldn't see it when we're doing the other camera right. shot. <laughs> What's the other thing you don't do, Mike, when you're on these bolts then? Yeah, don't <laughs> run them in with the with the power tool. Well, I am. <laughs> you don't you run don't them run in and then feel them get, you, you don't feel them get tight and then keep going. <laughs> yeah, I did that and tore up a coil. I don't know which one it was, but regardless. If it was. See how easy that goes? Here's how I have all the bolts. I might be able to get them loose. My needle and seat stuck open on the way home, so I have eight gallons of gas on the floor in the trailer, and there's at least a gallon in this case yet, too. Did we throw all the number threes away, Trenton? Here's one. I even put Loctite on him when I did this. And I tried telling Mitch to do that when he put mm. it together. He said, well, there's still some on there. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's holding together anyway. Mm. A little fresh Loctite's always good. How's the sled running? Good. He said the thing just rips. That's everybody the clap. Is, the vertical clap. The vertical clap. Right. Yep. yep. It's up and going. Yep. He said everybody that's hopped on it is comes back with a smile from ear to ear. <laughs> He actually uh, made a couple little aluminum patches for his running boards and riveted them in. He had a trailing arm come off. Oh gosh. The back side of it came off apparently and smacked the side of his hood.
PTO bearing came apart. Oh, yeah, junk. Yep. PTO bearing. Junk, junk. Yeah, the whole cage came. That's why she went spin around. Let's take a good look, see. Right here, fellas. PTO bearing locked up on it. Well, we figured out what's wrong with it. We gotta do some crank work to redemption. It will be back on the snow this year. I'm not gonna let a little bearing issue stop me from riding. So, thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. What do you think of redemption? Gotta gotta build the motor again, but uh, that's what you do. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna part it out. I'm not gonna scrap it. We don't do that, do we? We don't scrap. Shit. We don't part out sleds. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. <clears throat>